Hey guys, welcome to the fifth video of my series on regex in Python and in this video we are going to talk about the concept of alteration in the regular expressions. So just like the character classes are used to match a single character out of several possible characters at any given position, alteration is used to match a single regular expression out of several possible regular expressions um, at a particular position. So this is the basic difference between character classes and the alteration. In character classes, we are trying to match characters at a particular position, whereas in alteration, we are trying to match regular expressions out of several possible ones which are possible at that from that particular position. So how do we um, implement that? In order to implement that, we use the pipe symbol. We use the pipe symbol which will, so on the one side of pipe you write one possibility, on the other side of pipe you write other possibility. And in this way you can do alteration. So let's consider a scenario where we want to find the, all the occurrences of and or the in a given text. So how do we go about, uh, go about doing that? So for that I'm just importing the modules. This is the text. So it contains the, it contains and, it contains or, it contains and. So there are total four matches that I expect to get, right? So how do I define a pattern using alteration? I can write re.compile in which I can simply pass and pipe symbol or pipe symbol the. So now what is happening here is I am saying that I want in my complete pattern, I am I'm using the pipe symbol first of all. So by using the pipe symbol, I am saying that either match this or match this or match this. So this is what I'm specifying. So now pattern dot find all txt and you get all those things that you need and also highlight regex matches pattern comma txt and look at that the and or and. So in this way we are able to get what we wanted. Now just try to think about it. What um, can you do this using the character classes? Actually, it can't be done using the character classes because at a particular position, you can specify that what all characters you need. But at the second position, again, you will have to specify what all characters you need. So it doesn't make sense to write something like this pattern is equal to re.compile and then at first position, you can have um, a from and t from the or o from this. And then at the second position, you can have n from and or h from the, uh, the or r from it. Or at the last position, you can have, um, let's say, D from AND and E from THE. So this is what you can do in the character classes. But that doesn't make sense because that will also match um, pattern dot find. Or you can say pattern dot, yeah, okay. So pattern dot find all. So it will also, it will match AND or THE, but it will also match A and E. It will also match A and E. Why is it matching A and E? And it will not match or right. So it will match any because at the first position it will take a at the second position it will take n and at the last position it will take e. So yeah, that is also possible. So in this way, we understand that character classes is not the solution for these kind of situations. But alteration is because here you are defining a collective group, a collective regular expression that you want to have. Right. So this is the uh, reason that alteration is very important. Okay, so we are done with that and now let us take another example to clear our understanding and uh, let's say in the given text I want to search for what is and who is. Okay, so I want to find this text what is who is. So how can I do that? So this is my text. Let me define a pattern. Pattern is re.compile um, what who and then is. So this seems fine, right? So pattern dot or uh, let us just do highlight rejects matches directly pattern and text. So look at that. We are not getting what is who is. Instead, we are getting what and who is. So what is the reason for it? The reason is that when you put a pipe symbol, it basically divides your regular expression in two parts. One which is before it, which is what, and one which is after it, which is who is. So actually, there are two regular expressions which are what and who is. Whereas what we want is what is and who is. So that is what we want. So this is not going to work in this way. What we'll have to do is we will have to use parentheses to specify it in a better way. So you can just use something like this, some parentheses and then put an is like this. So what is happening here now is that it will just use the parentheses part for breaking down your regular expression into multiple parts. So what is one regular expression and only who is another part. After that is is um, 
outside your alteration thing okay so highlight rejects matches in which i will put pattern and i will put the text uh, look at that you get what is who is so in this way we are going to, we are able to get the desired result so i hope the concept of alteration is clear and now you can use alteration at different kind of places wherever you want to match different different um, different possible regular expressions from a particular position so i hope the concept is clear if you still have uh, in doubt you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching